Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday, the 16th of November. Uh, hope you're doing well today. It's good to be together as we look at uh, Psalm 114. And as we spend some time in prayer this morning, we are going through the book of Psalms. Uh, we've actually, this is the third complete um, trip through the book of Psalms. We're working on our third trip through it. Uh, we've been doing this since COVID began. Uh, and it uh, seems like it's been a decently received thing. And so we continue to do this uh, four times a week. And so today we're looking at Psalm 114. Uh, we're in the midst of a series of psalms that are praise psalms um, that, that, that lift up the glory of God, give thanks to God for the work that God's done in, in, in history and in the lives of these people and in the lives of God's people. And, and today we're looking, Psalm 114 is, is, a, um, is, a, is a meditation on uh, um, Israel's deliverance out of slavery in Egypt. Um, when, e when Israel came out of Egypt, uh, this is the great salvation moment of the Old Testament. Uh, this was uh, the moment when God's people were actually free to be God's people. Uh, they had been God's people before, but in the land of Egypt they were slaves and unable to live as God had created them to live as God had intended to, them to live. Um, and this this psalm is going to recount that moment when they came out of Egypt, when they when they when they began their entrance into freedom. And um, and it's a short psalm, but it's a it's a beautiful psalm and it's it's a very um, it's got a, it's got some really fascinating images. So let's uh, take a moment to settle uh, to quiet our hearts, and then I'll read Psalm 114 for us. All right, Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled. The Jordan turned back. The mountains leaped like rams. The hills like lambs. Why was it, sea, that you fled? Why, Jordan, did you turn back? Why, mountains, did you leap like rams? You hills like lambs. Tremble, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool the hard rock into springs of water. I uh, you probably picked this up or maybe you've picked this up from me as we move through the as we move through the Psalms I'm, I'm really drawn to these moments where all of creation joins in with the in the in the worship of God. There's this imagery here that as the people of God are are moving out of Egypt and into the promised land and of course there's this that's a, that's a very quick overview and there's the 40 years of wandering and, and, and all of this intermediary stuff it wasn't an instantaneous thing we know that um, but in the in, in the course of history it's a uh, you know it's it's one event the movement of God's people into out of slavery and into salvation and this idea that the the mountains and the hills were 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 celebrating. We're joining in uh, this act of praise. Uh, reminds us that um, you know, in the beginning, when God created all things, God created humanity to be the crown of creation, to be the uh, to to reflect the image of God back into creation. And so, when creation is seeing the image of God being freed as this seems to indicate when creation sees, ah yes, the image of God has now been made free. The image bearers are now free to reflect the image of God into the world. It's, it's as though the, the creation is recognizing that um, those who are appointed to represent God to creation um, are now able to do so. Uh, are, are now going to be free to be those people, the people God intended them to be and there's great celebration there's complete there there's a sense that wholeness and, and and completeness for creation will come 
in the freeing of these people or through the freeing of these people. It's not the end of the story, obviously, but that's a that's where it's all leading. And so, you know, there, uh, you know, we don't worship creation. We don't give it life like. Uh, uh, senses, but but there is this life that, that seems to be had uh, in creation, celebrating, lifting up God's name, and giving glory to God in praise and in worship. Beautiful, beautiful image. Uh, I want to invite you to join me as we pray our uh, our, our, our daily office prayer. Let's let's pray. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life we have received by your grace and the new life you give us in Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, we especially thank you for the love of our families. We thank you for the affection of our friends, for the strength and ability to serve your purpose today. We thank you for the community in which we live and opportunities to give as we have received. I invite you to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serve them even as we have been served in Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, we pray especially for those closest to us, our families, our friends, our neighbors. We pray, Lord, for refugees, for homeless men, women, and children. We pray this morning, Lord, for the outcast and the persecuted. We pray for those from whom we are estranged. This morning, Lord, we pray for the church in Africa. I invite you to lift up your own prayer of petition, whatever's on your heart today. God of our salvation, as the light of morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Cause us to live and grow in faith so that we might bear good fruit for the glory of your holy realm through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, have a uh, great day. Good to be with you. Thanks for taking a moment to pray and to uh, hear, some, hear, hear from the scriptures this morning. Hear this dismissal from Second Peter. May we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. We'll see you soon, friends. Take care.